Welcome to the World Summit on the Information Society 2016 in Geneva, Switzerland. And I'm delighted to be joined by the interim CEO of ICANN, Akrim Atala. Tell me, why is your organization at the WISIS Forum? So we're uh, part of the in uh, internet ecosystem and uh, we deliver uh, on the uh, physical layer of the internet the addresses and the and the uh, names and numbers and the protocol parameters that actually enable the internet uh, users to find each other and to uh, communicate with each other so. we're hearing at WISIS forum 2016 that the focus is very much on how information and communication technology can actually help achieve these 2030 sustainable development goals. Mm. So what role can your organization play in that? So as I mentioned earlier, we are uh, a key uh, part of the logical layer for people to be able to uh, inter uh, connect with each other on the internet. And uh, because of that, I think that our participation uh, helps and uh, us being informed about the SDGs uh, also uh, helps us contribute to uh, their uh, uh, implementation. Uh, one of our uh, programs, for example, is uh, internationalized domain name. We just introduced now over a hundred domain names, uh, top level domain names to the root of the internet that are not in the Latin script, which means basically users can now implement uh, or uh, access the internet in scripts and alphabets and uh, languages that are uh, not uh, Latin and in their own, uh, uh, own native uh, languages. So that's a very powerful tool for everybody to, uh, from the developing area where the majority of the newcomers to the internet are going to come from in the next few years. Exactly, because the internet has always been something which perhaps is privileged to people who speak English rather than uh, Chinese or Russian or some of these scripts. I would say that the uh, majority of people that are using the internet today know how to uh, deal or use uh, multiple scripts at the same time, which means uh, if you're Chinese, you can use uh, Latin characters. If you're uh, Russian, you can use the Latin characters. And so it gives you uh, the ability to uh, use the internet because of uh, the, the knowledge of how to use both characters together. Uh, when you are not uh, capable of using the Latin uh, script, uh, it limits what you can do uh, on the internet by providing these uh, uh, top-level domains in the uh, in the natural script of, of uh, some of the countries, uh, developing countries. It will enable the users there to use a single script to actually access uh, their data and information, and hopefully it will encourage them to add more content, which will actually bring more people on the internet. And uh, that's our uh, hope: is that we uh, we help the uh, close the digital divide by uh, doing the small step toward, uh, toward that. So. In your speech this morning during the high-level forum, you were mentioning the uh, transition to IANA. What was the main message that you had to delegates here? So, uh, it's important that uh, to uh, look at the issues that the, the SDGs are dealing with. Uh, a lot of them are global issues. Uh, and uh, it's important to note that uh, ICANN is built on the multi-stakeholder uh, platform uh, where our community is comprised from all walks of life and including government, including uh, ac academia, including businesses, including users, including civil society. So they all come together and actually make ICANN what it is today. And uh, the message that we were bringing here is that the community uh, came together in the past two years, uh, developed a, a proposal for the U.S. Uh, government uh, that makes uh, ICANN uh, more accountable in order for uh, ICANN to become more independent and let the IANA contract uh, expire and, uh, and uh, let the stewardship of the U.S. Uh, government over ICANN uh, lapse and, and uh, hand it over to the multi-stakeholder community. So I think that we are a good example uh, of how multi-stakeholder model works and, uh, and uh, solves problems. Akram Atala, Interim CEO of ICANN, thank you very much for joining us today. Thank you. And please do tune in to the ITU YouTube channel where we will be interviewing 
regulators, ministers, experts from the private and public sector here at the WISIS Forum 2016.